Good. Thank you. Hey, I just wanted to say uh, I really appreciate what you said to Pierce Morgan. Um, I think you said what a lot of governors wanted to say. 1776 will commence again if they come for our firearms. And uh, that's a beautiful rifle you are given. Uh, well, self, you know, raffling off. Some uh, domestic terrorist will love that. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah. And I, I think uh, a lot of people need to start looking at Ted Cruz and uh, Rand Paul. They're the only ones who really stand for the Second Amendment. Uh, ben Carson has supported a ban on assault rifles, and so has um, Trump. Trump. Yeah, and, uh, and he does look like he has a possum on his head. Um, but I'm going with Ted Cruz and Rand Paul, and people need to get their heads out of their butts. The Second Amendment is under attack daily. And that's the most important thing. If, if they get rid of our firearms, it won't be America anymore. Well, that's it's their plan, and they're moving to do it. But we're actually winning that fight. And if we win one fight, we win them all. That's why they're so desperate. God bless you. Believe me, they're, they're getting ready to stage or wind up some crazy to have some massacre. And then try to tell us collectively it's our guilt, as if it's our fault that somebody else did something bad. And look, I'm not attacking Trump for looking like he's a orangutan, you know, with weird red blonde hair. Uh, a cross between an orangutan and one of those troll dolls. The reason I say that is he made fun of Rand Paul and said he was goofy looking and ugly. And I really don't think Donald Trump has any talk here. I've never called him ugly. I think he's goofy looking. I don't care what somebody looks like. It's how they act. So if he wants to get in that sandbox, let's talk about it. He looks like a weirdo. He looks Thank like he has. To GCN. He bleached gray hair Visit and then GCN turned it blonde. Today. And he looks like a giant orangutan. Don't ever surrender to social engineering. They always will just push more. They want to tell you what words to use, how to talk. Don't say boy or girl, man or woman. I got some words for them I can teach them. Go to hell. Those are elementary school words. G-O-T-O. -O. Go G-O-T-O. H-E double hockey sticks. You control freak cult. Sickos. Now, I want to open the phones up in this hour about the debates last night, about the big world events, about Obama signing an executive order, admitting they're going to engage in psychological warfare against the American people. That was legalized by Congress two years ago. It's been going on before that. Right after it was legalized, the Pentagon announced, we're going to stop lying and work with you locally to make sure it doesn't happen, which is the big lie. I'm going to drop by and... Check on your house where out of town. Make sure there's no robbers there. Well, you don't leave town and you wake up and your neighbor is uh, walking out your front door with your wife's jewelry and your computer and you're like, Bob, where are you going? Oh, I'm just making sure this is all safe. <laughs> so we're going to break all of that down. The toll-free number to join us is 800-259-9231. 800-259-9231. On another note, I went uh, swimming last Memorial Day. Or not Memorial Day, last Labor Day, last Monday. Not this Monday, but last Monday. And a couple days later, I thought that I'd been grinding my teeth again at night or something or clenching and was an ache so bad on the side of my head. I thought it was TMJ I've had before. When I'm real stressed out, I'll clench and grind my teeth. Sometimes I wear a mouth splint to not do it. But it didn't go away in a couple days, even though I was wearing the mouth splint. And then my, what do you call them, lymph nodes swell up on this side, on my right side. And I thought, well, it'll go away in a few days. It's an infection. And I drank a bunch of colloidal silver, and it kind of did go away. But then so I stopped drinking colloidal silver after three days. And then I was with the family again out at the lake last weekend, fishing and water skiing and stuff with friends that have a boat. I got a boat, but it's really too old, so I was hanging out with friends. And all of a sudden, I woke up in the morning, and it was just blown up everywhere, both sides. I looked like Frankenstein. My jaw was so wide. I couldn't hear. Got to the doctor. Got me on antibiotics, and it's, it's reduced it by about 80%, but I still feel like I've been run over by a Mack truck. And the doctor was telling me that a lot of people lose their hearing doing that because the eustachian tube will get so infected that all that gets pushed back into the inner ear, and then you can lose hearing. And it was funny, the day before I went to the doctor, I was talking to a guy uh, that was a listener, and he said he lost hearing in his ear by a bacteria he got in the lake, and just don't swim in the lake 
for at least two weeks after it rains. It's been raining for weeks off and on because all the dog crap and the rest of it washes in. But see, I'm not a doctor. I just know swimming in a hot lake at the end of a summer, it's still hot down here, is not a good idea. And I'm not doing it anymore. And I'm not a rocket scientist, but I know almost everybody I know that has a brain-damaged child, it's a boy, and at 18 months, they got a third round of shots and sometimes had convulsions right there in the doctor's office and then never talked again or yelled and screamed and banged their head in the wall for the rest of their life. Or a mix of those. But then I can go out to the medical research and find out why bacteria get in your throat or in your ear and get you really sick. I can go read the medical literature, even though I'm not a doctor, about all the hundreds of vaccines recalled in the last century. There's been more than 20 of them this year recalled around the world, killing people. Because when it's too obvious, you know, you give a village of 300 people the shot and 100 of them die, the rest of them get deathly ill. You're going to recall that vaccine. But when it just brain damages, you know, five or six boys... That's okay, see, because it's meant to do that. Most people, it's just meant to dumb you down and brain damage you some. But sometimes the effect's too intense, and you get a wrecked brain that doesn't make for a good biological android to work in an Apple factory. You know, I played this last hour, but I've got to play this again before I run through all these clips of what we think are the best highlights of the pretty amazing Republican debates last night that here at Infowars.com and the Nightly News, we had two plus hours of live coverage while it was going on uh, with our reporters cutting in, chiming in with their analysis, their punditry, their facts, uh, their comebacks uh, to the disinformation, but also the truth that came out uh, during the debate. Donald Trump coming out against vaccines. He really got me more in his camp with that move because that's one of the biggest attacks on humanity. Then we're going to get into uh, Cruz saying Planned Parenthood is a criminal enterprise. Then Bush, 40 years ago, I smoked marijuana. The whole drug war uh, will continue uh, with Rand Paul calling the Iraq war a mistake. Good job doing that. Uh, Donald Trump, Rand Paul shouldn't be on the stage. And he's ugly. Just Donald Trump does great stuff then acts like he's five years old. Uh, Trump... Uh, this is a country where we speak English, not Spanish. An amazing statement. Uh, Trump Bush squares off over casinos in Florida. Uh, Jeb Bush defends his brother. Uh, quote, he kept us safe. That ties into the whole Iraq statement. Um, then we'll get into Trump gives Bush a low high five, showing uh, the fact that those two are buddies, which I do not like or trust at, at any level. But you got to go with the statements that are being made here. But first off, we've got three hours left in this special worldwide 28-hour broadcast to help fund this TV slash radio show and the nightly news being put on satellite across North America and Central America, I should add, and then phase two, Europe, phase three, the Middle East, phase four, Africa, phase five, Eastern Europe, Central Asia, phase six, Southeast Asia, China, and more. So it's all happening and you've seen the phases we've done building info wars in 20 years from one guy on access television to what it is today and it was listeners idea eight years ago to have a money bomb we did it it raised five hundred thousand dollars that money gave us the extra money to move into bigger better studios i didn't need to do a money bomb the last three years so we didn't do it for three years but now we need it we have now raised as of just a minute ago they told me in my earpiece if we go to infowars.com forward slash money bomb, you can see the graph and the latest folks that are donating who wish to put their names on there. $605,182 has now been donated. And it's our goal by the end of the broadcast, and it's really accelerating now, we may make it to reach $1 million. And we're taking the profit from the nutraceutical sales, from the book sales, the video sales, the t shirt sales the tent sales, the non-GMO, uh, non-hybrid heirloom seed sales, the storable food sales, the shortwave radio sales, the Patriot Apparel sales, everything at InfoWarsStore.com where there's free shipping today. We also have these huge specials. This is your last chance to take advantage of our super money bomb specials at InfoWarsStore.com and get free shipping. 
We are taking these specials down today at the end of the broadcast at 3 p.m. Help support the InfoWars Money Bomb and get these great products. The following Money Bomb specials will be ending at the end of the broadcast at 3 p.m. today. 15% off Survival Shield Nason Iodine X2 that had been sold out, but we learned the truck was already on the way, so that'll be shipped out by next week. 30% off Super Mill Vitality, biggest special ever, because free shipping on top of is the best special ever on that. 20% off Brain Force, incredible product, try it. 20% off Silver Bullet, 15% off Deep Cleanse, 50% off Secret 12, 50% off Oxy Powder, and there are a whole bunch of raffles and eBay auctions that the guys came up with. They took some of the doodles I do on air and framed them. Who knew one of those is running for a thousand bucks right now? Thank you, whoever you are out there. Uh, we've got uh, the the great uh, high quality head down uh, rifle that folks can enter a auction for, and all of you are winners because you're fighting the tip of the spear of a no compromise, no surrender, pro liberty, pro human, pro life, pro gun. Pro-America, pro-sovereignty organization, ladies and gentlemen. So a lot of these things are about to close right now. Go to Infowars.com forward slash money bomb uh, if you want to get involved. Most of them have already closed out. So I want to thank you all for your support. But this is how we fund things. We don't take tax money from you like NPR or MSNBC and then try to use this platform to, to say your kids don't belong to you and uh, Christians should be put in jail and uh, all the rest of it, and your guns should be taken. We get up here, we're open libertarians, open pro-freedom people that hate tyranny with a passion of just crazed fury. And we're coming for the globalist, and we want to send the satellite signal when this phase is successful, and I really think it will be by the providence of God. I pray it will be. Please pray with us. I don't say that as mumbo-jumbo, folks. I'm not some guy that is perfect. It's not that I'm not worldly. I'm a man, believe me. But I have a relationship with Christ. I couldn't be here without God. God has gotten me out of so much crap before, pulled my bacon. You people that don't believe in God, you're really missing out. And I don't mean the God you find at these fake churches. I mean the God you find in your heart at 3 a.m. hitting rock bottom. And I, I wouldn't be worth it to be alive without my relationship with Christ. And I just pray that people out there will support this broadcast so we can reach more people. Because I'm telling you, the world doesn't listen to these fake government-run Bible thumpers pushing Christianity on them because it's not Christianity. It's the system that's captured that. It's designed to turn folks off. This broadcast, read about it online, talk to folks around you, has led more people to God, more people to Christ because of God moving through people's hearts and minds, learning about world government, learning about forced abortion, learning about baby harvesting, learning about chimeras, learning about the Illuminati. I don't have to tell people they better get Jesus. You learn about the new world order and the satanic takeover, you're going to get Jesus. Do you understand that? Because the devil is taking over right now. And people better get their hearts and minds right. And they better take action. And they better fight back with everything they got. Because the enemy is coming in worldwide. You ain't seen nothing yet imploding the borders in Europe and the U.S. You ain't seen nothing yet with paramilitary police. You ain't seen nothing yet. And I'll tell the globalists, they ain't seen nothing yet. Because for every evil action, there is an opposite reaction, an equal and opposite reaction, Newtonian physics. Now, I'm going to get back to this in your phone calls. Scott, Marguerite, Jameson, Eileen, Sue, and others. But I want to get to some of these debate clips. But uh, we got Joe Biggs, former staff sergeant, U.S. Army, Iraq and Afghanistan vet in here. He's been on the air with the great head down sponsors, htfirearms.com. They have given us one of their great rifles. They're also pledging a large percentage of their profits of the last few days uh, towards info wars and our entire operation. And so this baby is a uh, raffle you can enter to get the rifle. Tell folks about that, Joe Biggs. All right, so anybody who donates $1,000 or more by the end of the broadcast, what we're going to do is we're going to tally up all those names, put those names into a hat, and then at that point, what we're going to do is we're going to reach in and pick out who is going to win this rifle. Now, this is a one-of-a-kind, head-down Triton 10. This is custom. They broke the mold when they made this, so there's no more going to be made. It's got a custom Cerakote job, and it's also been signed by Alex Jones as well. So this is a high-quality rifle, retractable buttstock, and then also Georgia Optics, the guys that... Uh, Give us the uh, optics we have on the InfoWars store as well as those uh, G-Shock watches. They will be giving us a sight and optics to put on top of this as well. So you can find that. all their optics at InfoWarsStore.com. And again, it's free shipping on everything right now.
Exactly. Thank you. No, no, please keep talking about the rifle. How do they go? How do they enter the, the, uh, 